Welcome back to the YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is where we talk all about football. Today, we will be doing the predictions for match week 14. So without further ado, let's get straight into these predictions. So I'm going to start off with the smaller games and then we will progressively kick to the bigger games and ultimately the big game that everyone's been waiting for for the last two weeks. First against second, Manchester City versus Liverpool. But we'll get to that in, 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 in just a brief moment. But let's start with the smaller teams first. Sheffield are taking on Bournemouth. Both teams are at the bottom of the league. Sheffield are in 18th and Bournemouth sit at 16th. Bournemouth coming off a very, very crucial and good victory, uh, beating uh, Newcastle 2-0 at home. Sheffield are playing at home, so I will go Sheffield United 2 and Bournemouth 2. Next game, we do have Nottingham Forest against Brighton, playing at the city ground. Uh, Nottingham Forest winning one of their last five games, and that was against Wolves, where they won 3-2. Brighton, on the other hand, are coming off a bad run of form. Uh, starting off the season, they did really well. Last season, they got into the Europa League, and within the first couple of games this season, they were actually climbing the table, and they were third and fourth at one point in time. But they are slowly dropping. I think it is. it has to do with international football. Their players are fatiguing and we're only approaching towards the, the middle of the season. I am going for a Brighton win. I think they, they will win it comfortably. I think I'm going for that uh, Brighton win 3-0. Next up, we got Burnley versus West Ham at Turf Moor. Right off the bat, I am going for a comfortable West Ham win. 3-0 is my prediction. Next up, we got Luton Town versus Crystal Palace once again, going for a Crystal Palace win. Actually, I'll go for a 1-1 draw. The reason being is that Luton Town are playing at home. They have a tough crowd to play under, so I am going for a 1-1 for a draw. Next up, we got Fulham versus Wolves at Craven Cottage. Wolves feeling really good after their win against Spurs. 2-1, um, I think that could shift the momentum into their favour going into this game. Both teams are in the middle of uh, the table, but because Wolves have that slight edge shifting uh, momentum into their favour going into this game, I am going for a 3-1 win to Wolves. Now, it is time for the big games. We got Everton versus Manchester United. Everton coming off that 10 point deduction because they have been charged with fair play, uh, breaching fair play. Manchester United are in really good form despite all the criticism. They have won four of their last five games and the only loss coming to Manchester City. But, uh, you know, despite the criticism, they have been playing pretty well, even though they haven't faced any uh, team other than Man City in the top four, but they're still getting results. I do think, however, Everton will go into this game uh, fully motivated, high energy, high tempo football. They'll be, playing, they'll be playing really physical against Man United. That's what I think, uh, especially coming off this uh, 10 point deduction, they'll be playing really angry. And because of that reason, I am actually going for a Everton win against Manchester United, 2-0 to Everton. Next up is Newcastle against Chelsea, a really, really good game at St. James's Park. Newcastle are coming off a loss uh, against Bournemouth. Both teams have won two out of their last five games. Both are middle table teams. I do expect better from Newcastle, especially because now they have a stronger squad, new owners, they have more of a budget to sign players. They've signed a lot of players throughout the season. And I do think that Playing at St James's Park is a really, really, really tough place to play at. However, you know, Chelsea, they're such a weird team because when they play against big teams like Man City, Liverpool, uh, especially at home, when they're on their game, they are so hard to beat. But when they play away, it just, it's a completely different team. You do not recognize the team that just played a few, uh, a few weeks ago against Man City. So, because of that reason, because of their away record, it's so poor, I am going for a Newcastle win at home, 3-1 to Newcastle. Next up, we have Brentford versus Arsenal. Once again, a really good game. Arsenal are coming off that 3-1 win against uh, Burnley. So, you know, Arsenal obviously being a world-class team, I think they will not have a problem putting Brentford away. Even though I do think that Brentford will be able to cause some problems, just not enough to sort of put 
put Arsenal away, I feel. So I am going for an Arsenal 3-1 win. Next up, we got Spurs versus Aston Villa. Fourth place against fifth place. Oh, this is gonna be a, 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 an exciting game. Um, just a point separating the two. If you asked me a couple weeks ago who I thought would have won, I would have said Spurs because they were in magnificent form. They were winning every game but they are coming off back-to-back -back losses against Wolves and Chelsea. So I do believe Spurs really have to win this game. I think it's a must win for them. They do have to bounce back out of, uh, from the two losses. Both Spurs and Villa have won three out of the last five games. Actually last season, Essen Villa won the double against Spurs, beating them twice. So I am going for a 2-2 draw between these two teams. And finally, Manchester City versus Liverpool. I have been waiting to make this prediction. <laughs> First versus second, dare I say, this will determine the Premier League. No, I'm just kidding. I was going to say the Premier League champions, but I'm just kidding. But finally, we get to the big game. First kickoff of the week for us. Uh, since I live in Malaysia, it's not too bad because it's an early kickoff for me. 8:30 p.m. is better than a 12 p.m. kickoff. But for people around the world, especially in England, and they don't like it because they just came back from an international break and they'll still be fatigued. So you got these two world-class teams that I don't think they they'll be able to play as good as they can against each other because they've just come back from international football and they'll be tired and etc. But regardless, we still will get a world-class football game so as for my predictions i am going with my gut feeling for some reason i just do think that liverpool might come is my instincts is telling me that liverpool might come up with something uh, i'm just gonna go i'm gonna go for a while when i'm gonna go three to win to liverpool instinctive wise it's just telling me something's gonna happen and darwin Nunes, for some reason it's just gonna come up with a master class i don't know why i think that but I just feel it. And that brings me to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, do leave a comment in the comment sections below. Like this video because it helps the algorithm get my videos out there. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed the video and put on that uh, notification bell to receive updates every time I post a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.